Hello my cookies! I'm so excited to be doing this holiday breakfast collaboration with the darling Rosie over at iHeart Recipes. So today we are going to be making eggnog pancakes. Let's cook! Okay, we're going to start by pouring some all-purpose flour into a bowl and it's getting everywhere. Damn it! Calm down flour. Okay, to that we need to add some sugar. Now I'm going to grab my home girl, this baking powder. I love this brand. And we're going to use this. If you're using self-rising flour, you can skip this step. But you're still going to need this arm and the hammer. Some baking soda. Add that in. And now I'm going to lie and tell you guys I'm using nutmeg. But that's actually allspice because I forgot to buy the nutmeg. But we're going to pretend. And then I'm um, salt bay, So we're going to add a little salt. Sweet, sweet salt. Stir it all together, then take this bowl, get it out of the way. We got to work on the wet ingredients. Now for the star of the show, go ahead and pour that in. And to it, I'm going to add some melted butter that I've allowed to cool to room temperature. That's important. We don't want scrambled eggnog pancakes. And speaking of eggs, drop in a yolk, but save the whites. And we're going to whisk this together really, really well. Now we're gonna pour the wet ingredients into the dry mixture and we're gonna fold it together. Now, we don't want it to be smooth, so I like to use my little spatula. It's gonna be lumpy and that's what we want. We don't want to overmix this stuff. Now add in the egg white and fold that in as well. We want to see the lump still, so this is the consistency that we're looking for. All right, now allow the batter to sit there and mind its business for like 10, 15 minutes. After that, melt some butter in a cast iron skillet or a nonstick skillet, whatever you have, over medium heat. Then scoop out one fourth cup of the batter. Allow it to cook for a few minutes until you see those little bubbles form and then pop. You'll know it's time to flip it over and give it another minute. Just keep going with the rest of your batter and cookies. You will have these delicious and fluffy eggnog pancakes the recipe link will be down there in the description box special thanks to my sister rosie over at iheart recipes for collaborating with me be sure to check out her channel and subscribe i definitely have to cover these bad boys with some maple syrup and also some fresh whipped cream and then i you know i had to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on there to make it pretty thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you will try my eggnog pancakes i gotta eat these things until next time be blessed